Hey everyone, so this is Covid Raccoon and I mean the team name is Covid Raccoon anyways so yeah this is my project I've made a game which you can play for fun time and I have actually mentioned what are the major purposes and why I use it if you want to actually you know the better documentation of this you can actually go to my github repo where all the images are properly aligned so you can see how I mean you can see a better picture there so yeah this is like all with all the GIFs how I built it these are the gaming instructions how you need to play and I'm sorry guys you have to install Pygame I tried to convert it into exe but I was just running out of time and I had lots of things in my mind so yeah so anyways so yeah you can just refer this for a better sake of understanding and now let's move I'll show you the demo the major thing of this I mean the major picture of this game is actually mentioned in my first video which I made earlier so if you want I'll suggest you to go with that where I have ex explained pretty much most of the things of this game in that video and after the game what I did is what this video is about okay so this is just the command to run it and then I'll use arc parsing to play easy okay so I'll just show you how it's going to be and yeah so as you can see the only change I have made from my previous video is adding some cars other than that most of the things are common and and fix some minor bugs like there was some jumping bugs and if so see if I get hit I just and I have to crouch for the air incomings and yeah this this is like the structure of this game you get if you get sanitizer that should be coming yeah it's come it has come so if you are having sanitizer protection then you won't be affected and then and yeah you can even dodge in such protections so okay i just got it okay and then this game goes until a certain time uh, until basically the story is it goes till you finish moving in the city and I mean that is pretty much explained in my last video so yeah you go to the home you reach home and there is that is where the game ends okay so and yeah you can always see these outputs which actually doesn't matter when you're actually playing the game but I was just doing this for debugging so I'll just show you quickly show you the medium one I won't completely play it because it, it is a bit longer and it has some increased speed but it's almost the same the game is overall the same so yeah this is all about the medium one and now i'll quickly go to the hard one which is the toughest uh, it just needs it just increases the reaction time so the better reaction time you have the better you'll perform in this one so okay i got hit okay okay again oh i am gone man yeah this is the game over screen so that was about the game uh, all the major things about the story of the game which I found you know the most interesting I have explained everything in my previous video please go and watch it I mean that is totally structured I just made that yesterday night and this is after the game was properly done okay so let's go to after the game scenarios and now I'll be just uh, so yeah I just wanted to host this game on the web server so I tried to implement the same game in JavaScript that was uh, the aim so okay so I'll initially I thought I had lots of problems so I used p5.js as was uh, taught in the uh, <coughs> workshops and yeah I just uh, experimented everything here and then I implemented it in my atom and I just added some more elements to just make it look better and everything I mean yeah just a little bit little bit better because I, I had like lots of the main problem was the debugging and you know all the actions and everything thanks to the mentors who helped me a lot in figuring out the problems which I was facing all of those problems were resolved so let's go and see how this website looks and it's not as good I mean I don't know even the game is good or not but it's not as nice as the game but it's still fun I mean yeah you'll 
it's not like you'll get like okay i don't want or something i mean yeah it's fine it's fun okay <laughs> leave it so here is the html page so yeah these are the screenshots of the game i have created and here you go okay and you have to just type yes if you want to play again and you jump and you duck okay shit i have to take care of that and then again jump oops okay then this 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 and like that this game keeps on going i know the raccoon is totally changed and even the viruses are changed but i mean i had to like analyze lots of things and the shapes were pretty much easier to you know browse other than the actual icons which i created in the powerpoint uh, but yeah i'll be actually i was the main aim was to you know understand the basic and dynamics of how to proceed with javascript and since that is done so i'll be quickly implementing the actual game also so as you can see this is also like a fun game it has lots of drawbacks still but i'll keep on improving it with time the best part is that you can play it without having any library okay so i'll just leave it for now and and for the actual game you just need to do this thing uh, so if you if you are default python uh, is python 3 or python whatever it is uh, i mean i'm just mentioning in case you are not having pip install uh, put in your system variables directory or the root directory if you're using ubuntu i have no idea about mac but yeah if that's a problem so you can just put this command for me it's just pi so i'll use that if you have python or python 3 you can just go with that pi m pip install pi game and once you get once you just put this install this you are all done and a very important thing which i forgot to mention in the last video is that okay i'll just add that to my github repo where is it mm, yeah the thing is uh, in if you want to duck or if you want to bend down you have to use upper arrow and not the uh, down arrow that is one thing because i was testing it in at initial stage and after that i never actually got time to change it so that is one thing so please don't think uh, space is for the jump and the top arrow is for the duck on the other hand if you are playing the game in the in this particular javascript one then you can use up and down arrows to play this in this case it won't change i mean it's it's i just did the right one not just tested it i just implemented the right one so up is for jump and down is for duck okay and for the other one it's space for jump and up for duck okay so yeah that was pretty much of what i did in this hack i enjoyed a lot of things i had good time with mentors and other organizers they were really helpful and i tried to do something with echo ar also but i was struggling with the that key and i'm still struggling with that so i unfortunately i didn't do anything with that but still i love to explore it in future because gaming and ar is one of my domains of interest okay guys thank you very much so hope you like this and just do let me know if you have any feedback or if you want and i mean if you have any questions anything just tell let me know and i'll be happy to help okay all the best guys thank you very much